Hello everyone, welcome to Atopy the World and this time we're going to discuss the last part of vegetative propagation and this video will be focused on the economic importance, the advantage and disadvantage of vegetative propagation. But may you think the question why? Why we need to study vegetative propagation? Why do I need to know about this? Actually, there are two reasons why you need to study natural and artificial vegetative propagation. The first thing is the advantage of this process. The second thing, the disadvantage of this process. So, we're going to start this discussion by natural vegetative. And we're going to discuss the advantage and disadvantage of this vegetative. So natural vegetative propagation advantages. First, new plants contain the genetic material of only one parent. So they are essentially clones of the parent plant. This means that once you have a plant with desirable traits, you can reproduce the same traits indefinitely as long as the growing condition remains similar. Second thing, this is especially important for commercial growers who want to reproduce the highest quality plants and ensure consistency of a variety of plants or crop for sale. This can also help to maintain consistent quality and taste in products made from plants or crops. For example, in Zealand tea plantation, they propagate new tea plants using cutting to ensure consistency in the taste and quality of their tea. Next advantage is, plants also bypass the immature seedling phase and therefore reach the mature phase sooner. This can save a lot of time and money for commercial plant production. For example, it takes 3 to 4 years for a tea plant to grow big enough from a cutting to be ready for harvesting processing into tea. Growing from seed would take even longer. Now, let's discuss the disadvantage of natural vegetative. First disadvantage. The potential to impact on biodiversity of a species. Second thing, if a particular plant clone is susceptible to certain disease, there is potential to lose entire crops, such as the impact of kiwi fruit disease. Pisa. One way to protect against this problem is to establish a genetic bank of seeds of plants. Germplasm collection, which is common practice in various crop sectors. Now, let's proceed to artificial vegetative advantage and disadvantage. The first thing is the advantage. The new plant produced by artificial vegetative propagation will be exactly like the parent plants. Any desirable features of the parent plant will be replicable in the new plant. Second advantage, the fruit trees grown from seeds may take many years before they start to bear fruit. But the fruit trees grown from cutting or by grafting start to bear fruits much earlier, only if after a few growing seasons. The plants grown by vegetative propagation usually need less attention in their early years than the plants grow from seeds. Many plants can be grown from just one parent plant by artificial propagation. Next, we can also get seedless plants by artificial propagation. And now, let's proceed to this advantage of artificial vegetative. The first one, the plants do not have genetic variation and lose their vigor gradually. They are more prone to disease specific to the species which can result in the destruction of the entire crop. As many plants are reproduced, it may result in overcrowding and lack of nutrients. It can induce overcrowding. As there is no genetic variation, the offspring are less adaptable to the environment. 
Next, if the parent has a disease, all the offspring inherit have disease also. Plants that are air layered and cut plants generally do not have a strong root system. These plants may collapse in certain age. In artificial vegetative propagation, only few new individu individual plants are produced from a parent plant. And last, the parent plant will be burdened if they are air layered too much. So, that is the importance why we need to study the vegetative propagation. So, in three video, we already know the natural artificial importance, both the positive and negative of this propagation. Thank you for listening to Pedia World. I hope you enjoy the discussion. Thank you. Bye.